Yeah. Once you're about to start the second season in maize planting, there's a need for us to go through the cost of planting maize again and also the profit once done to make starting a maize farming business here in Ghana. We are having this discussion with the CEO of Osbok Agri Enterprise, Abuachi Yadom. Mr. Abuachi, you're welcome. Thank you, madam. Okay, so we are in the second, we are getting to the second season. And when is the second season? Uh, the second season starts um second week of Ju this month july july oh, so okay. for the land preparation as i said the last time we will start around maybe june but now you have finished your land preparation okay so what yeah. if i have i have not uh, done my land preparation now is it too late to do it before? oh it's not it's not too late it depends on the type of land that you are you are going to if the land has been cultivated before mm -hmm. and you just need to uh, use um heavy size to spray okay i think you can do it one or one week or um, 10 days to two weeks time you can plow and still uh, do your planting but the best way is to start um planting around um second week in july okay. second week from 15th 20th 25th going then it's, it's, it's a very good time for okay. you to plant it okay. we do that um now because in august mm -hmm. we have some uh, little droughts okay. it's around as a at times in some years it will be in the first week of august okay in some years too it will be in the second week of august okay. so if you are not careful and don't plant early by the time that drought may come uh, maybe um the means is about maybe two to three weeks or one month it can survive the droughts okay uh -huh, before the september rain starts oh okay. Uh -huh. okay that's why at times it's better you start you early. start you start somehow early mm. yeah what are those who have who started around june if you start time? Uh, june july august september it depends um the drought as i said even in the years you're not even um experience yeah, that yeah. that okay and it depends on the location mm. yeah and if the drought starts and maybe the means is about to tussling and it's about one week to maybe it can survive okay yeah but when the drought comes and the maize has started bearing fruit mm -hmm. and it's a ten to two to three weeks that is um um where if you are not lucky you not get the yield that you are expecting because for that time the caps will not be able to be big as you are expecting so there you are if you have not started preparing your land you need to start now we are still in the preparation period if you have already prepared your land you can start the planting right yes please okay so mr bachi please take us through the process of the the cost involved because i think we have covered it before that was last year yes but this one is going to be 2023 update right update. okay so take us through the the cost involved in planting maize for one acre and then at the end of the day we are also going to cover the cost the profit involved make sure you don't skip the video to the to the profit too because we will <laughs> fix the profit somewhere in the video yes so if you skip you will not see <laughs> okay so let's come to the land preparation how much yes cost? this we, now now we are coming to do a current budget okay for us some people in a jira and i think we will call it second season second season yes yeah. uh, sorry that's their best season because mm -hmm. there's a time that um they, they go in a big acres okay. because for this type of means when you start um, harvesting the post harvest losses is, mm -hmm. is, is 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 not many as the one that we are coming to harvest now okay. so um before we start um their budget and revenue for uh, this particular season i will encourage all our subscribers if you want to engage in farming commercial farming it means this is the best time you can go any any amount any acres that you can go really? even 100 200 500 acres okay. because you are go not going to face any challenge so far as post harvest losses is concerned okay so with post yeah. harvest losses we are will be discussing that on this channel one of these days so yeah. you have to stay tuned to know to know what brings about the post harvest losses in maize farming okay so now let's look at the cost uh, we are starting with land preparation Yes, the land. We assume that all our subscribers they have their land, yeah, or they've acquired the land. Yes. <laughs> so, except those who have not contacted me yet, though. if you don't come early, you will not get some. If you have acquired your land, yeah, the land preparation from cutting and weeding and everything will cost you around 600 Ghana cities. Okay, yeah, okay. So, after the land preparation, what's the next cost? The land preparation, um, is different from plowing. Okay, the land preparation, we assume that uh, maybe uh, it's somehow very but there's no trees mm. so you do some later works okay. and then after maybe you use herbicide okay uh -huh. so after the herbicide then you start the plowing okay and the plowing is also 300 cities mm. uh -huh. this budget is based on maybe a table and a giraffe and farming yeah okay. that's what i'm using as a case study mm. so for that area um 
this particular season one acre of land when the tractor plow is 300, 300 ghana cities okay so that means it's not fixed oh it's not fixed okay. but 300 is good because even if you have about 100 acres 200 maybe you can bargain for maybe 280 250 but at least yeah, one acre will about... cost you 300 ghana cities okay. yeah okay so now what are the cost of seed yeah it's a farming is a process mm -hmm. once you have your land mm -hmm. then you think about seed okay and for the cost of seed is some how dicey because um some farmers may choose opv okay which cost uh, maybe 150 cities per acre mm. other farmers too will choose hybrid okay and even within the hybrid we have different yeah. types of hybrid right. at a different cost okay so it ranges from 400 cities or 450 cities per acre to maybe 1100 cities per acre that yeah. is the highest not oh. the penny okay so that means we are we are limited uh, to ourselves yes to the, to the hybrid yes we are limited ourselves to the hybrid and the hybrid to we are we are we are choosing the lg 36 which is the yellow corn okay and one acre a 10 kilos is 700 cities mm. so let's choose um lg okay. one acre so which is 700 10 cities kilos for one acre for one acre which is okay. 700 cities so what are the cost of planting to now you get your means mm -hmm. you get your land you get your seed maybe you cannot plant alone for one acre mm -hmm. if you can plant there there's no labor cost but if you have to pay yourself <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because you need a budget and revenue you have okay. to pay yourself and so the cost of planting will cost you um at least 150 ghana 150 cities. Cities. how many people do you need to plant on it one depends acre? you see in our areas that we have a group of people who mm. always work mm. maybe they assist three um we use the roof mm -hmm. and maybe three or plants okay they can take if there are many from five going if one acre they can even use one day we have the uh, oh, yes okay. yeah okay sure okay so now let's go to the uh, fertilizer application and uh, now we assume that we planted our bees yeah we have started the farm you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> now 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 we've planted the bees okay it has germinated mm. two weeks to three weeks after germination uh, we need a uh, plant nutrients okay. which is the fertilizer as we commonly call it mm. that's the plant nutrients mm -hmm. and every one acre you need two bars of MPK okay that yeah. is the the fertilizer with the composition nitrogen MPK as we have already learned Discuss. nitrogen phosphorus and potassium okay but the means the best one is the 23 10 5 or 20 10 10 as i've said in one of our videos okay, yeah. the one with the highest nitrogen so if you if you want to know the details of that fertilizer application the link will popping up somewhere here i'll also be leaving the link in the description section of this video just after watching this video you can go and watch it because we have discussed a lot of things there how to apply and all those things so that will be in the description section okay and also i sell all these fertilizers and all inputs so if you call me i can also give you the details yeah. and how you are going to get it at a discount price Please, so whenever you you call mr Bwachi, let him know that you are calling you you took his number on there from this channel and he promised to give you a discount all the input that you need for your farm any farm at all he has some so he'll be able to um sort you out and give you special discount and you are from this family so you need it okay yeah so before you continue on the mpk one bag mm -hmm. um is at least 400 cities per bag okay but one thing about um fertilizer application is that if you are if you use your land for crop rotation like cow pea, mm -hmm. then you have a lot of nitrogen. Okay. So you can use one bag per one acre. But this, mm -hmm. th th this one, we assume that we've not done any uh, crop rotation for cow pea. Okay. So you need two bags of MPK mm -hmm. for one acre. Okay. That's the first fertilizer application. application. Okay. Then what are the, the, the labor cost? How much the, will it cost? It's 150 Ghana cities. 150 cities. Yes, per acre. Okay. Now let's go to the weed control. Uh, weed control is very important in maize farming mm -hmm. because uh, the weeds also compete with the maize mm -hmm. for the nutrients. So it's better you control um, your weeds because if you don't control the weeds and you apply fertilizer, you do everything. In fact, you are going to lose a lot. Okay. So weed control is very important. Mm -hmm. And nowadays we have salinity for um, salinity herbicides for maize. Okay. And weed control is not all that difficult. You need uh, some message. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Some. We have the best one, uh, best nicosophon. We control. You have to talk about it again. Because because we have a lot of um, herbicides for that for that one you choose the herbicides um, based on the type of weeds you have you have in your farm okay because for example i saw somebody's farm recently and i think he has applied 
uh, the wrong uh, herbicide for yes, yes. and it's made up, they are yeah, all dying out. Yeah. So uh, you have to be careful. Uh, yes, kind particularly of when you use uh, hybrid seeds, mm -hmm. you need to be careful so far as the selection of herbicides for uh, weed control is concerned. Okay. So when you choose Nicosophon, maybe let's assume that you are land, we have a lot of grasses mm -hmm. than the broad leaves. So Nicosophon is good. Mm -hmm. uh, for that one, we have one called the best one from Singapore, from mm -hmm. ETG Agro Import, we call Cleaner. Okay. Yeah, for that one, it's arranged at least 100 cities, uh, mm -hmm. 70 to 100 cities per liter, okay. depending okay, so on the quantity. That's what we are limiting ourselves to. For how many liters do we need? Two liters, at least two liters for one acre. Oh, okay. So that will be 200 Ghana cities. Yes. And you see now, let me kind of, for weed control, maybe two weeks after germination of the maize, mm -hmm. you see the weeds too will start coming and the weeds might get about two or three leaves. Mm -hmm. But that time is the best way to control weeds. And even for that time, we can use even one liter for one acre. I think we have to be yes. Yes. It's our maize, uh, maize family <laughs> you again. We have to be listening yes, yes, because yes. Uh, some people call still ask questions. Yeah, about the, yes. uh, so we need to go through the process again so that you can be able to get it into details. I think yeah. the second education mm. will help. Yeah. So for that one, so that if you use at least um, two liters mm. per acre. Okay. But if you sit down for the weeds to grow more than the leaves, you use almost three to four liters. Wow. <laughs> okay. So two liters will be good. Okay. For, of the cleaner will be mm. good. And, and that one, I assume. Uh, the labor cost yes, the cities. labor cost is also be 150 Ghana cities. Oh, okay. Now we, we've created our land, the selection, everything we control is perfect. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to Amiwem control. That means, uh, you see, uh, recently because of climate change and a lot of um, geographical issues, mm -hmm. we have Amiwem okay. in our midst. Formerly, we don't spray maize. Oh, okay. It's only recently, some five, uh, three, four, five years, can that we have started experiencing that uh, this uh, armyworm, and uh, they are very stubborn. So you have to also budget for uh, this uh, uh, pest control mm -hmm. uh, for the armyworm. If you if you finish the farm and you didn't see any armyworm, then you thank God. Mm -hmm. But we have to be proactive. Okay. So the armyworm, to at least two liters of insecticide, can also spray one yeah, okay. acre of uh, land, and that one will cost around seventy cities. For and one for, for one liter, okay. and that's the lambdas. We have highest one, even someone costs about 120 cities per liter, but at least mm. 70 cities per liter can okay. also will do that. So you get two liters, which is uh, almost 140 okay. Ghana cities. That's the pest control or army worm control. control. Yeah. And the cost of labor too will be it's the same 150 Ghana. 150 cities. Yeah. Uh, you know, after the the first application, you also had a second. second yes. Yes. So after the army worm control mm -hmm. or after the weed control. Yeah. When the maize is about to tassel, okay. you need a lot of nitrogen. So if you have a virgin land, fine. But the second application too is very important. And for that one, you choose um, only nitrogen a fertilizer like maybe ammonia ammonia has uh, 21 percent nitrogen mm -hmm. and urea have uh, 46 percent nitrogen okay so you can choose either ammonia sulfate or urea yeah. okay and the ammonia is 300 cities mm -hmm. as i'm speaking now okay. depending on the quantity it can be lower than that but depending on the quantity that you buy but at least 300 cities and the urea too is uh, 400 cities urea now it has come down small it's supposed uh, at times it was around 500 to 550 but now wow. the price has come down some more okay. it's 400 cities okay. so either you choose ammonia or urea is good okay the one bag for the second fertilizer application now you need um, just one bag of other ammonia or urea mm. so let's choose uh, ammonia which is 300 cities per bag for the second application mm. and also the labor cost time constant just 150, 150 cities. cities yes so that means for the second application you need um you need, you need 300 cities yes for the ammonia and the labor urea. cost and the labor cost is 150 Ghana so cities. if you choose you yeah, that will be 400 400 cities if you yeah. choose ammonia that will be 300 cities 300 cities yeah okay and then let's go to i think that's all for the, the yeah the for period. now yes that is that's all for the um land population to um harvesting have uh, harvesting stage okay uh, so harvesting. after the second application mm -hmm. then you are waiting for harvest harvesting okay yeah. So, with that one too, what's the cost of harvesting? The cost of harvesting, a lot of costs go into harvesting. Mm -hmm. Cutting and gathering, 
sharing and transport from farm to maybe your warehouse or to the house mm -hmm. a lot of issues but at least let's say 700 cities okay or 700 to 750 uh, yeah okay. uh, after when wow. we get time um, we go through the harvesting and post harvesting sure. so it's sure. very very important in maize production okay um, because so, and the storage and the storage yes <laughs> Some, we, we combine me, where can i <laughs> store my, my maize <laughs> and then somebody i think somebody also asked i can't remember the question the name but i said where can can you sell uh, soya beans? Uh, soya beans is not about the means. Uh, soya beans, we have a lot of markets. Um, the poultry industry and I don't know where the farm is located because some some companies buy for a certain company in Techman called Ghana Nut. They mm -hmm. produce, they use for oil and also for poultry feed. Okay. But I don't know where the subscriber is located and I don't know um, the quantity of soya beans. Uh, that's the name. Uh, Aristos Franklin he said please where can I sell my soya beans but one thing one thing uh, in Ghana is everywhere that you are located mm -hmm. you get a district or a very big market across you oh, okay. when you are in a table we have a table market from Monday Tuesday a July to we have a market around Wednesday Thursday when you are around the Tichman market from man from even from Monday to Friday so do you when you are in the nord northern region that, that's where that's the the, the the basis way where you can find customers that's why I'm saying that I don't know the quantity mm -hmm. but it's about 20 50 20 bucks you can just um, go to the market women and they will buy they will buy yes oh, okay but if about two thousand thousand bars that is where you look for the uh, uh, companies that they use for poultry or the exporting uh, formerly they were exporting we have exporting companies but i think la last year was, or this year there'll be a ban mm. on soya bean exportation that is why at times this year alone the the selling of soya beans has become a lot of challenge <laughs> if not formerly if soya beans is a very lucrative job oh, okay. but for currently once they mm. place ban on the exportation it has become somehow again. difficult to yeah. sell but it's not all that difficult but i think the poultry farmers do use it yes okay uh, but for them they don't use it as a raw material unless it has process mm. so yeah. they process they, they, it all no 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 for in ghana i know of ghana nuts mm. in teach okay uh, okay so <laughs> i think uh, frankly your question has been answered right okay uh, then let's go back to our 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 budget uh, before now we, let, before we complete our let's answer this question to daniel that that's and he said how much is the machine for broadcasting beans the beans i think on the beans farming uh, for that machine you can use it for beans rice or maize mm -hmm. that broadcasting is 400 cities oh, so okay. when they call me then uh, you go to yeah wait for him. For him, yeah. okay so the total cost of land preparation planting to harvesting yes will cost us about four thousand nine hundred and forty uh -huh. forty nine forty four thousand nine hundred and forty okay. that's the total cost now let's come to the profit before you come to profit yeah this cost is not absolute okay because there's some places it will be even less than four thousand mm -hmm some places it will be more than uh, four thousand depending on where you are located mm -hmm. and what goes in in any activities because in some places if you hire labor you have to even rent a motor a motor cane to send it to the farms so there are a lot of things that go so this one is it's not absolute you know by all means you have to get this it mm -hmm. can be less or higher oh okay so, so now let's look at this um i think i've addressed the question here but i want you to also address it okay that's from lord amaku he said please i asked question about he said maize and is can you do maize and beans intercropping maize and beans intercropping in fact intercropping for commercial farming i will not even advise yeah if you have some one acre you can do but if you have some one acre or some two acres you want to do that. but for commercial farming if you are going into maize go into maize if you are going to copy then the crop rotation will be good mm. the, uh, you can start around march or february march the first race you can start with the cowpea then meaning that the first season you will not go into maize mm. so this second season you use the same land for maize that's why i said that if you use if you do that the yeah. cost of uh, uh mpk okay, will be reduced by one back per acre oh okay uh -huh. okay the crop rotation will be good but you, i'm you can thinking do mm -hmm. because if even if, if it's one acre and you, you decide to do intercropping like there's the herbicide that is why if you use that's one disadvantage very good mm, if you if you if you want to go um through intercropping meaning that you are not going to use any selective herbicides mm. because the one you use for the means okay the beans okay. and the one you use for the beans okay the means <laughs> so if you can use your hand to weed or something of that nature yeah. then fine that would be a little bit stressful, uh -huh, so stressful. Don't mean, or if you want to go uh, um, intercropping what you have to do is that maybe you have a uh, maize this row mm -hmm. 
-hmm. you leave about um, 25 to cent, uh, 30 centimeters. Then the, the next row will be, will be bees. <laughs> then then uh, and that oh, okay. you see it will, it will cover a lot of a piece of land. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So now let's go to the revenue, the mm. the profit one stand to make starting one acre of uh, maize farming this year. I mean, we are based on this year. Price. Yeah, this year prices. Mm -hmm. uh, as I'm speaking now, um, even maize prices from 700 cities to 1,200, depending on location. Okay. Uh, so, um, Atebubu and Ejura, as I'm speaking now, is around 700 to 750 per bag. Okay. Per this 100 kilo of bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in maize production, when you use hybrid, and all things being equal, you are um, land preparation, fertilizer application, uh, selective, your weed control, everything perfect. You are expecting maybe from 10 to 25 bucks. Okay. 10 to 25 bucks because I don't know how you are going to apply your fertilizer. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how you are going to um, control your weeds. Mm -hmm. But in the worst scenario, you can get maybe 10 bucks. Okay. But in the highest, you can get 20 to 25 bucks. Okay. So let's use the 20 bucks. Okay. Let's assume that with all the unforeseen challenges, maybe um, we have 20 bucks of means. Mm -hmm. As I'm speaking now, if you choose 700 cities per bag, it's 14,000 for one acre one acre yes okay but has there been any instance where you had more than 20 bags yeah you can get 22 or 25 20 okay. mm. so it's possible it's possible that. it's possible okay it's possible it's possible okay, so, so that means if we are getting like minimum of 20 bags or we get be between 20 bags let's yes. settle with the 20 bags yes if we get more that's a plus to you and we multiply it by the 700 that's a bush price yeah yeah the 700 is a it's bush not price. a bush i'm saying that from <laughs> Okay. I think we go to a yeah, they, that, that place is not bush. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the so market. The market the within a table, a jira, yes. So that that's area. That, that area, and you can yeah. get around no seven. Bush. It's not, yes, it's, that's my place. So it's no bush. You can get seven hundred cities. Okay, uh -huh. so if you see seven hundred cities. Accra, uh, Accra, you consider transportation. Mm -hmm. Accra, I think it's nine hundred or thousand. Okay, but when and, I, mm -hmm. what if I have my my farm in Accra? That means and then I, you are gone. Even if you have a, if you have a have a farm in Accra, you choose even go to the raw one. You not save to the uh, dry one. You use mm -hmm. uh, the, fresh the fresh one, and that one you get money. Okay. So for now, we are talking about the, the dry one. Okay. Mm. So with the seven hundred times twenty bags, we we are supposed to expect like fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand. And the cost is around. Four 49.40. So when you subtract um 4940 from 14,000, you get what? 9060. Uh, 9, 9, so okay. if all the challenges you get even 9,000 or 8,000, I think it's not bad. Yeah. Well, because yeah. this one is one acre. Mm. So if you have 10 acres, then, then you multiply, multiply by 10. 49,400. 49, yes, that would be the cost. 400. Yes, and the 10 acres, um, the revenue to 9,060 cities. Uh, you multiply by 10, you Nine, get 90,600. Uh, 90, yes. For 10 acres. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So when you subtract um, this 49,400, then you get a, uh, the revenue for all the profit for the 10 acres. Mm. Yeah. That's how it goes. Okay. So that is it for maize farming. The cost involved and the profit one stand to make starting maize farming business here in Ghana 2023 based on current prices and based on Mr. Boachi's location we are yes. using Atebubu as the case study okay so if there is any other thing that you want us to know you let us know that in the community you have any question mm. there's something that you want to dress i know people have asked us do okra okra or is it okra okra <laughs> and then eggplant or garden eggs mm, we yeah. also have um, rice 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 production we have a lot of um, requests in the, <laughs> in the comment section and we are going to tackle them gradually okay now by the next video i want us to talk about the harvest and the post harvest okay. because um our subscriber who started around april i think the now we are in july yeah same. some yeah so we have to talk about the harvest yeah. and post harvest losses okay. so that they know how to go about mm -hmm. it in order not to lose a lot of um means so it's very important next video 
we talk about um, harvest and post harvest, harvest losses. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and it's very very Before important. Before we go to the other other the other, other videos and other yeah. videos, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay, so that is what we're going to. Uh, you should be expecting on this channel the next time, and also the coconut farmland, maize farmland, palm farmland, and other things. Land is still available. It's getting finished. Like I always say, it's limited, but it's getting finished. When it gets finished, we are not going to go for another one again because the process of acquiring land is quite stressful. Yeah. And I'm not ready to go through another <laughs> stress again. Uh, okay, so uh, when it don't uh, come early, you might not get some. Yeah. In addition to the land, Mr. Bwachi shop too. If you want to know the location, Mr. Bwachi, where is the lo shop located? My shop is located at Ashama Runabout off Akusumbu Road. Okay. Yes, from Tema off Akusumbu Road. Mm. Yeah. So after the uh, Ashama Runabout, you just uh, opposite, there's a filling station called Pacific. Opposite. Okay. The Bank of Africa is there. And my shop is near Bank of Africa. Okay. Yes. And, and because and some people ask whether you can so do supply them around um, Kumasi and the rest. Can, it is, depends is it on the type of input and the quantity yeah, okay. you see nowadays the transportation cost is very is very serious mm. maybe if you need about two bars of mpk the vip the cost that involved may be higher than buy it from my by depends mm. if uh, maybe i'm going to i used to go to um a table two weeks one mm. month so people in kumasi and that area if there is any request and even some of our subscribers come from central region and other region to come and buy okay. based on the quality because farming is all about input yeah it's, it's like a computer garbage in garbage so Garbage those people them. who buy from you, yeah, what special discount do you give them? I mean, like, in, I know in terms of price, you give them a discount. Yeah, but is there any other thing that you do for oh, them? Because I know maybe, some people tell me that oh, <laughs> I like the way Mister Bwachi is treating. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So when you buy the input from my shop, I monitor the farm mm -hmm. from planting to harvest. Oh, okay. So the person will be able to have access to you so that you can be able to guide the yes. person, especially the new. Yeah, farm. yeah. Okay. Because that, now I do that because maybe you go and you go and buy some input or some herbicide that I don't know uh -huh. and you ask me Mr. Bwachi I bought it how do I possible. apply it uh -huh. at times it makes my work very difficult yeah. yes but if, if I don't have and you ask me and I should maybe go and buy this stuff uh -huh. that one I can monitor uh, yeah. that is what we do okay. for us so if you want a special monitoring and guidance from Mr. Bwachi make sure you get in touch with him his number will be on the screen in the description section he will be able to he will supply you with the input your advice on what to do please make sure you listen because some people don't listen after that then they'll come back with some issues like they're having problems there here and there so he will guide you on what to do and everything that's the advantage of getting um getting his input or getting closer to him then he'll be able to help you okay okay so if you have any other questions or you want us to make a video for you just let us know that in the comment section we might not do it immediately but we'll definitely do it for you we have to take note of all those questions all those requests and we'll definitely do that for you yeah so if you like this video you like the value you have shared in this video like this video share it and then comment in the comment section to help us boost the video please share it with people who need a video not people who don't need it just share it and then make sure you always watch the video to the end don't be skipping okay so we'll see you in the next video bye bye